Hey guys, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at four new things that are added to Laravel version 9.39.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this mix test response assert session has no errors to report the error message. Before, whenever we were running this assert session has no errors on a test, and if that error was from different error back then it wouldn't show us the error messages. It would show us that the session had errors, but it wouldn't show us the error messages. But now it does. Let me show you. So here in this Lara Tips older version, I have this can save a user and I am posting to save user. If you go here in the web and see here in the save user inside this, I have this validate with bag and the bag is user. This is not the default validate but with a bag and this is name required but if you see here i am not passing any data to this post which means that it should throw the validation error so now let me just do here paste run and you can see here it is throwing the error it is working but if you see here it is saying session has unexpected errors but it is showing us this empty array it is not showing us exactly what were the error messages but now in the latest version of laravel if i run the same thing over here paste run then you can see here over here so here session has unexpected errors and we will also get the exact error message that has occurred so here the name field is required which is correct this feature is contributed by Julius Garros. The second thing that has been added is this add source file to the collections DD method output and it is contributed by RM Frockley. As we all know that previously whenever we did DD then it would show us the file path and the line number but inside this collection it wouldn't show us. Here in the older Laravel version let me just go to let's say web.php and here inside home controller I have this logins. And now if I just do over here DD like this, we can just append DD on a collection and it will show us the collection results. Now let me go over here in the older Laravel version. This is old Laravel version. Reload. Then we can see here empty and it is not showing us the file path and the line number. But if we just wrap it inside a DD, then it would show. But now in the latest version of Laravel, if we just go on the same thing inside the home, this web.php here in the home controller and let me do the same thing over here dd like this and let me go to this latest laravel version and reload then you can see here the file name which is home control and the line number 22 which is exactly the same now let us move to the third thing which is allow route group method to be changed previously we could only write one group method on a route facade but now we can add multiple let me show you that over here in the latest laravel version here i'll go here in the web.php and i have already created two files like this animals routes and bird routes and i haven't registered it anywhere in the route service provider or any service provider and now let me try so let's say pa route list let's say grip and let's say parrot okay you can see here there is no such routes it is not showing that route over here but let me go to web.php and let me register it over here i can just do here let us do a prefix lara tip so that it would be easier for us to filter out the routes and now i'll say group base path routes the base path is a, our application path then routes and then animal dash routes.php and let me also do for another bird routes.php we can do group multiple times previously we could only do one time now let me again run this but instead of parrot let me say let's say lara tips because i am prefixing all these routes with lara tips now all the routes present inside this file and this file should appear in this list we have these two routes cat rat and in the bird we have parrot and sparrow now if i hit enter then we can see all those routes over here now let me show you the fourth and the final thing that has been added which is this assert database empty helper method which is contributed by christopher rompel before whenever we wanted to show if a database table has a data or not then we had to do it like this assert database count the model class name and then zero 
but now in the latest laravel version we can just do this assert database empty and just pass the model class name we don't have to pass this zero over here 